Hello and welcome to this week's Force.com cast video in which we're going to make a lightning component uh, to go in our app that displays um, a report and a graphic for it. So uh, within my org I have um, the standard opportunity stage report here that um, I've just done a minor amount of tweaking on so that I'm grouping by opportunity stage and you can see here that I've got um, you know, just the regular report chart that's showing up. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to create a lightning component that retrieves the results of this report using uh, the Apex Analytics API, sends the data down to our Lightning component, and then we're going to render it using um, a charting library. So if we go into the developer console, um, first thing I've defined is a controller here, which is the report view aura controller. And that has a single method, which is run report. Uh, that retrieves the report using the developer name, which is opportunities underscore stage underscore report. And you can get that by uh, going into customize, a report and then you can view the properties um, so when that loads up hit report properties you can see there it's the unique name is the developer name we're looking for okay what we can then do is we retrieve that report so we get the ID effectively which is what we're looking for we then call the reports.reportmanager.runReport report method and we pass in the report ID and this true boolean value and uh, what that does is it tells it to run synchronously and then we get the report results back and then what we're going to do is serialize these results um, as a JSON string and send them back down for us. We then have a component which is called report view and that obviously has that controller as its controller and we've got an init handler we're going to go through in a minute um, but what's important to see here is we have three different uh, required resources at the bottom that we're loading up so we've got the um, C3 CSS, C3 min JavaScript and D3 min JavaScript. So C3 is a reusable charting library um, that you can download from c3js.org and it uses D3 which is um, a far more richer data driven documents um, JavaScript library for doing great visualizations um, and it uses that to just build these nice components so have a look on there and you can find some good examples. So we're going to include all these resources and then uh, we have an, a div here in our card details, so we're just using our standard um, uh, Salesforce bootstrap classes and templates here. And we've got this div here with the idea of chart, and that's where we're going to put our chart. So if we go into the view controller now, what we can see is that we have the init function again that we're working on. So we're doing uh, something on the initialization. Uh, we're going to run our action, which is run report, uh, and on the callback, when we get the response, if it's successful, we're going to parse the data that we get, so that JSON into a JSON object. Uh, we're going to create a new JSON data array, and then we're going to go through the response we get, which is um, the Analytics API response, and we're going to go through all of the groupings down and all the groupings that are within that. And then we're going to take the label and importantly the key from that, and then we're going to retrieve the value from the fact map using that key. So if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, um, I would recommend that you retrieve, uh, when you've put this method in there, you run it and you debug out this uh, JSON result here, and you'll see um, a JavaScript object um, that contains all of the details of the report from the Analytics API. If you go through that, you'll see that there's um, an object called the fact map, and that includes all the summary information, and there's a key on that with exclamation mark T that holds in it uh, the aggregate values. And then we have all of our different groupings down that have the labels in that we're going to use for that. And they map from the key to the fact map, uh, fact map key. And then going to push into our return data array the label and the value. And we're going to put that in an array itself. We're going to have an array of arrays. And at the end, we're going to call C3. And we're going to generate a new chart, bind it to this chart uh, div, uh, and we've got some data, we're going to have the columns being the return data, so this array of arrays, and we're going to set the type to be pi, and then at the end of it all, we're going to kick that action off. So what does this look like? So if we update our preview, you can see here that it's going to load up again, and we have our organizations from before, we have our task information entry from before, and now we have our report view. And C3 is really nice in that it provides this nice um, highlight and hover over tool tip where you can get the information and it's very very uh, pretty and easy to use. So we've now created uh, an, an account list component, we've got our task component and we have a report view. 
Now, obviously, the report view is running against a particular account. So if you go in here, you'll see that there's a parameter where it's the account ID. So in the next video, we're going to create our final component, which is going to be a custom visualization graphic. And then in the final video, we're going to hook all of these components up so that when we select a, an account, then we'll use that as the account ID to put the task against. It will update this report view to retrieve the uh, report where the correct account ID is being used. And then our custom graphic will also be updated to reference that account. So I hope you look forward to that and I look forward to sharing it with you.